Here's the thing that really sold me on these guys. I'm not traveling with Mike this year. So Mike's, as we all know, is not the best eater when I'm not around. The worst. He's he's like, mm-hmm. just give me the greasy burger. Yeah. Um so I appreciate the fact that these are nutritious meals in a container and I yes. don't feel bad like yes. tossing these in the truck with him and having him eat these and knowing that he's not running through fast this, food place. This and is getting, the one I had before. Yeah. It's really good. I want to try some more of these. Really Mike good. was known back in the day for getting roast beef sandwiches on um, like Sunday and then just... Yeah, I'd pull, so I'd pull into town. You know, a lot of these places we'd fish, <laughs> there's no, you know, they're, they're out food. in the middle of nowhere. So before I got to where I was going, you'd go through that last little town. Yep. You know, whatever, 20 miles outside. So whatever it would be there, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, Arby's, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'd go and I'd get like a dozen sandwiches. Like I would just buy like a dozen for the whole week. And I'd just throw them in a cooler. That's it. I'd throw them in a cooler. I'd go to like Arby's. Give me 12 Arby's. Yep. Wow. Throw them in a cooler. Ain't nobody got time for that. that's it. (laughs) I'd fish dark to dark. I'd come back. I'd wolf one down. Go to bed. Next day, dark to dark. Come back. Wolf one down. That's it. The whole week, I'd just have Arby's. Or God, McDonald's hard, burgers. Or See, burgers. I find, I find myself when I go to like those truck stop food places, looking at the yeah. people that work there, and I'm like, oh, who made it? Like, yeah, I like, can't like, buy like that. Arby's. I can't buy that. Like an Arby's that's like connected to like the gas station. The, yeah, the gas. It's like all one <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. it's dude, always suspect, hungry. man. And for me, I, know, I look at it dude. too, but then I'm hungry, and I'm like, and ah, there's screw there's it. Mike, there's a truck driver shower thing. Yeah, yeah. I want that sandwich. Yeah. Remember when McGraw went up to Champlain? I think he went up with you. Yeah. And he got. Bologna got ham sliced up. He got it, yes. To take up with him. Yes. And made ham and cheese sandwiches all week. <laughs> he did. And by four or five days in, he was really constipated. He's constipated. He had to the point that he had like to drive days. home from Lake Champlain. He gave up a couple days on Champlain yeah. and went home. Yeah, he couldn't. He, so, he, yeah, so he, he had, he went to the supermarket, had all this ham, you know, give me 10 pounds of ham or whatever. He had the ham, pounds. he made all these sandwiches. He's eating every day. But about a third or fourth day, like Brian said, yeah. he's got stomach issues. God can't shit. He can't head and took it and taken a crap in like four days. And he's like, Man, what's going on? I'm sure you know, he sometimes when you're traveling, story. you just get thrown out of whack or whatever. He's like, That's all right, I'm just traveling, I'm thrown out of whack. Well, dude, it's like Friday and he still hadn't taken a dump. He leaves, we're all still there. Come to find out, you remember the story? He went, dude, he went home. It was a Sunday he went home. Yeah. Or Saturday. He went home, watched football all day with his roommate yep. and drank. Yeah. And finally, finally, and, something and still fell asleep feeling sick. Tried yeah. to drink it out or something. Yeah, like two in the morning, he wakes up and it was go time. Yeah, in the dark, run into the bathroom. Yeah, got in there. And, hmm, I don't know if you could paint this picture I'll better. Paint the picture. Than me. Got go in ahead. there and he's starting to go, but like it's it's coming, but it's not really coming out. And he's kind of like, what's going on? I don't want to make it too graphic, but make a long story short, he actually gets down there and starts trying to help it out. <laughs> And he realizes that whoever cut the ham left the plastic wrapper Come on. on the ham. <laughs> so the entire time he was eating these ham and cheese sandwiches throughout the week, he, he was, was eating, eating plastic. confetti. Yeah, wow. Oh, my God. So he was a stuffed and full up of plastic. with plastic. So now he's pulling sheets of plastic. Uh, <laughs> so, all and, right, all right. We and got once the, he we got unstopped it. All hell broke loose. How's there one Polish joke ever told when the Irish <laughs> are running around this country doing that kind of stuff? If there was O'Meals, he wouldn't have had that problem. That's, a, that's the point. <laughs> All right, so listen. O'Meals comes in a pack. You open up the top. I got a little hasty. I already opened mine up. I don't need the card. All right, so look. I have a heating pack. My food is fully enclosed. Craziness. My utensils come in the pack. I put my food... Back in the pack, fully enclosed. I put my heating pack. I take it out of this little silver foil thing. I put my heating pack. Get it out of your pants. Put it in the pack. Put it in the pack. All right, I put that in. Make sure it's at the bottom. Then you use liquid. Liquid? Liquid. It does not have to be water. It could be lake water. It could, I mean, I don't know. You could probably pee in this thing. As long as it's liquid, that's what activates the heating <laughs> yeah, pack. Yeah, you might want to take that one back. Ammonia might mix with the uh, heating agent and cause some kind of a noxious chemical. Put the guy right out into the water and the drink. He's gone. All right, so don't pee, don't pee in it. All right, don't pee in it. My whole point is the liquid never touches the food, so it could be lake water. Like, it doesn't yeah. have to be fresh drinking right. water. Thanks, Dave. Water for Cooper River. (laughs) Whatever it is, it does not touch your food. Your food's completely cleared. All right, so close it up. Let her sit. And then it's... 
steams. The coolest it's the thing coolest happens. thing. <laughs> it steams. Yeah. It steams. So it's cooking. So right now yeah, as we're talking, it's nuts. in there cooking. Yeah. Just wait till it gets hot enough and then the steam literally erupts out of it. It's, it's kind of fun. The coolest I'll thing about it is no matter what you eat on a boat, it's not like you're sitting at a place eating a sandwich when you get it. Whatever you get winds up being soggy. It winds up either being hot or too cold because of the ice you got to sit on. These things are cool because they don't get wet. Like the meal stays the way it is. Like it's kind of neat. Like yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. It is, dude. Yeah. It's an MRE. I mean, it's it's yeah, what I it is. I take the same stuff when I like. I see there a hose. Look, there it is. There it is. Yeah. This is awesome. Oh, look, we got yeah, we yeah. have steam. There it is. We can hear steam. That's less than a minute. Wow, it's amazing. It's cooking, back. So it like cooks itself, and then after a couple of minutes, when it's done cooking, you just you take your that. utensils out and you eat it. You eat like, it.